Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. So I want to make a quick update to the Radian 6000 cards. Now I know we have a lot of information already about these cards and we already have an official benchmark from AMD showcasing how one of the big Navi cards is going to perform. But there's been an article on videocards.com about uh, some of the finer details of the cards so I want to check that out. And also there have been a few people talking about it as well online so uh, we'll check that out. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my previous uh, video about AMD's Big Navi. And that was the video where I speculated whether the 6900 XT would actually beat the RTX 3090. And it's looking like a lot of that information still holds true right now. So uh, make sure to check that video out if you haven't done so. Now, if you like this video, make sure to click on the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this. So videocards.com has an article about AMD Radeon RX 6000 series and whether it could boost up to 2.3 gigahertz. And they've taken this from a tweet from Patrick Schur who writes that Navi 21 XT has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 and is 255 watts of TGP and there's a game clock of 2.4 gigahertz. Now we'll take one of uh, those information one at a time and we'll start with the game clock because um, in my previous video of the RX 6900 uh, the leaks back then said that the game clock or the boost clock was going to be about 2.2 gigahertz. So if this is true, then we could possibly be seeing yet another 10% increase in performance to the big Navi card. So Patrick also writes that big Navi will be 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. And I think that's pretty much confirmed now because a lot of these insiders and leakers have been saying 16 gigabytes for a little while now. So I think that's all but confirmed. So the 16 gigabytes of memory tells us that AMD is going to run a 256 bit memory bus. Now it's going to be a bit lower than Nvidia's uh, 3090 memory bus, which was 380 bit memory bus and the 3080, which had a 320 bit memory bus. But AMD is going to run something called infinity cache. Uh, at least that's what's been rumored. And so that's going to be a large pool of cache that AMD can access. And we'll have to wait and see uh, game performance and benchmarks to see if that actually mitigates the difference between the two uh, memory bus systems. Now, in terms of the 255 watt TGP, Patrick Shaw also has another tweet that he made about the TGP and he says that looks like there is some uncertainty about the TGP. Let me help you. According to AIB partners, the TGP is defined as the power dissipated by the GPU and the GDDR6 without taking into account of regulation efficiency. And then he writes further to say that the max TGP of Navi 21 XT is 290 watts. AIB partners are testing different TGP for their cards. The 2.4 gigahertz was achieved with an AIB partner card, so assume that the card was slightly overclocked. So now I want to take a quick look at these tweets from Rogame. Navi 21 XL, the base clock is around 1350 megahertz to 1400 megahertz. Game clock is 1800 megahertz to 1900 megahertz. And boost clock is 2100 megahertz, maybe 2200 megahertz. Navi 21 XT, the base clock is 1450 megahertz to 1500 megahertz. The game clock is 2000 megahertz to 2100 megahertz. The boost clock is 2200 megahertz to 2400 megahertz. And then he says reference cards are on the lower end of the clock range, AIB cards on the higher end of the clock range. And then he lists a difference between the Navi 10 and the Navi 21. So let's go back to this videocars.com article. And I think we can fill in a little bit more information in this table here about the big Navi cards. So we have the Navi 21 XTX, which is, I guess at this stage is looking like it's the AMD exclusive card. And that's probably why there isn't as much information about this as the other cards that we have. And so this could possibly be the 80 compute unit card and maybe there aren't enough units of this because it's such a big GPU die that um, when they go to binning it, there's just not enough of these at the moment. And I guess they just want to keep these to themselves. So this could very well be an AMD exclusive card. Now in terms of the base clock, boost clock, I guess you can probably expect that it's going to be around about the same as this Navi 21 XT. So it will probably be around 2200 megahertz. 
So the next two cars we have are the Navi 21 XT and the Navi 21 XL. Now we know from leaks from almost a month ago that there was going to be an 80 compute unit card and two 72 compute unit cards. And I guess that's what these two 72 compute unit cards are. Now it seems like the only difference is that there's going to be 200 megahertz difference between the XL and the XT. So in terms of performance, it looks like the XT is going to be about 10% better. So the reason why they might be doing this is so that they can have a lower starting price for the XL, even though that um, both of the cars will probably be marketed as um, very similar to each other, but the XL will have a lower starting price. And I guess that way they can make it look like the Navi 21 is a competitor to the 3080, yet still have a lower starting price. Now in terms of stock, I'm totally having a guess here, but I guess there would probably be more of the XT version, given that they could sell that at a higher price. And finally, we have the Navi 21 XE, which we don't know too much about, but if you watch my previous video, I speculated that there was going to be a 60 compute unit version. And I guess we'll just have to wait till 2021 to see what uh, that card might bring. Okay, so just to summarize, we have a Navi 21 XT that's looking like that's going to be about RTX 3080 levels of performance. Then we have a Navi 21 XL, which might be about 10% less performance given the game clocks that we've seen. And that might be a good card for people who want the top end performance but don't want to pay the highest prices. Then we also have a Navi XTX, which might be AMD exclusive for now, but that's going to be like the 80 compute unit die that's going to compete with the RTX 3090. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to click the like button if you liked the video and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.